she's allowed to show it to us. Seldom is there such a momentous invention that changes our lives. This is the first laser developed, demonstrated, and created and patented by my husband, Theodore Maiman, in 1960. The laser changed the world. There are even some scientists that are saying that the laser is more, uh, more present in our lives than the wheel. It's very simple in construction, very elegant in, in design, because it incorporates physics that was not understood at the time. The laser was created to be practical without cryogenically be, without cryogenics. It consists of the of a ruby that's inside a cylinder, a, a flash lamp, and a polished aluminum, inside a polished aluminum cylinder. The ruby is a fluorescent material that bounces the light from the strobe. Out the end comes photons, one color and one wavelength. And how can something be so simple and yet so complex? The physics of making a la this making coherent light, going from microwave, a quantum leap of 10,000 times to light, coherent light, one wavelength, one color, and so powerful that it can drill through steel, through diamonds. The laser, if we put a lens in front, can be focused just to hit precisely a single cell in the body or an atom. We can suspend that atom, we can float that atom, we can heat it, we can cool it. But the reflection coming back is that of a star. Ted Maiman was a star, but the strongest muscle of his being was his heart, his integrity, and his strong determination to succeed 